Philippine Airlines has selected the Airbus A350-1000 as its desired aircraft to accompany the A350-900 on long-haul flights. The national airline signed an MOU with Airbus, announcing really its intent to select nine of the A350-1000s. They intend to deploy them on North American flights, including the east coast of Canada and the US. But there's many more destinations alongside what just was mentioned. The president and chief operating officer really went on to say that the Dash 1000 has greater range capabilities with also higher capacity, and Philippine Airlines will need that to serve a future demand that they'll see. They also believe it's the perfect aircraft to enable them to really expand their route network in a sustainable manner. And for passengers, well, they should really enjoy the experience on board the aircraft. Philippine Airlines are generally excited about this acquisition. They think it will also complement their existing A350-900s, which are already in service and operate to North American, Asia, and Australian destinations. Better yet, the company is also understanding of the fact that the A350-1000 will open up destinations and route combinations that haven't been possible with their current equipment. On top of that, it'll give them flexibility to connect important continents and cities to the Philippines that maybe for a considerable period or forever have been without that connection. The company has earmarked New York, Toronto, and cities within Europe as locations of heightened interest to deploy those 1000s on once they are delivered. How airlines utilize the capabilities of the A350-1000 is always intriguing, I believe. Whether it be for capacity purposes over, say, the Dash 900 or for alternative reasons. As mentioned, Philippine Airlines does already fly the A350 series with the smallest Dash 900. That being said, they only fly two of these. Therefore, the acquisition of the Dash 9000, and especially nine of them, will provide them with quite the capacity increase, as well as enabling them to operate a more streamlined long-haul fleet, which is probably one of their biggest ambitions to be able to eventually move towards the A350 series. While the company did outline some destinations that it would target, or at least geographical positioning, is there a dream location that you'd like to see the A350-1000 feature on? Let me know down below in the comments, it's certainly been an exciting week of thus far with some hefty aircraft orders. Thanks for your support and watching, take care and be safe and I'll see you next time for more aviation news.